All right, guys. This is the first one of the day. Is he gonna hang on there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. We're back in, right, let me tighten this drag. I, it's been a little while since I've been here in this, oh, he don't, he was plowing a pretty good, pretty good wake, but I can't see, it's dark. Other than that, and I'm not gonna be able to see other than the action on top of the water today fellas it's just super cloudy and uh, but the tide is low this is what i've been waiting for it's been about three weeks since i've been in this hole i've been y'all seen a couple of videos from a few other places and uh oh this is a monster here guys i can just tell he, he wants to he wants to do me some something settle down fella but uh it's a, it's gonna be a little breezy today it's gonna blow pretty good out of the south and the tide's gonna rush in pretty quick so i'm hoping to get my fish before it gets too too bad well he's just pulling me around like <laughs> if i was staked off where i could he couldn't pull me to him this would be 10 times a harder fight when you can be pulled around like this it really does take a lot of the fight out but that's okay i don't need that much extra fight this rascal i'm pretty sure is going to be oversized i i caught two 31 over 31 inches and 129 at one day here so i think this might be one of my turn loose <laughs> oh yeah oh he's he's a huge one a good way to start out the day I reckon <laughs> oh he's got it around his gill I think a little bit but I don't like to unfold it out the way they got it that's not really a sharp part where he's got it and it's not gonna hurt him if he settles down a little I'll try to get him up here but yeah fellas that is pretty good oh wow that's not a bad way to start out the day. Come here, fella. You want to get on the boat so I can get you back in that water? Unless you're not, unless you're not oversized. All right. Easy, fella. Easy, fella. Yeah. You are good. Oh, wow. I don't have my glove today, and I did not bring it. I was out before the, before the sun uh came up i was out boy he he wasn't far from being tearing out fellas i wish i would have showed that a little closer a couple more good hard runs and if it wouldn't have been around his gill i think he would have tore right out and we would have been like wonder what we got well he's not oversized i could take him but i'm not going to uh oh don't want this balloon up against that um uh, he's 27 27 and a half I would imagine and we turned the tail a little bit but we aren't going to do that but he's just a big old chunky rascal that is a good fish get away from this these little things we got to get away from that I don't want to poke a hole in my boat <laughs> it's pretty tough but them barnacles are sharp all right, well that didn't help our count in the box, but I mean, I, like I say, I could take him, but we're not going to. He's just too good a fish. Get out of here, fella. Let someone else get a good shot at you. Well, that, w that took up a lot of our video right there, but that's okay. We will see what else we can find in here. Like I say, it's been a while and I don't really see him. It may be an inch or two higher than the last time I was here so it might be harder to see them but but all right let's move on let's see what else we can get all right fellas seen that little guy swimming working along the bank and 
I say, well, let's just see if we can pick him out of the bunch. I I think there's fish out here. I've seen a big bust out in the middle, but I haven't seen them with their backs out of the water. Like I say, it's a little deeper. It's, it's deep enough to cover them up today. Like I see a fish working there. It might, nah, that's probably mullet. I'm seeing a lot more mullet, less reds today. But this, this fella was working the edge. He might not even be a keeper but he's fun uh, I, I hate to go out in the middle there and get that bust that big wad up that's out there right away i want to kind of work the edge and kind of pick a little here and there although that might not be the right choice because they might get spooked and that might be where all the big ones are hanging out but oh he ain't a terrible terribly little feller but he ain't like what we were catching out of here. Come here, little guy. Let's just see what you are. We might get you right back in the water. Or we might put you in a box. <laughs> oh, he's a two-spotter on this side. He ain't super big, though. He definitely, after catching that 27-incher a few minutes ago, he looks like a little baby. That 27 incher could have ate this rascal. <laughs> but he was, he, he touches 20. Oh, I gotta be careful with my finger without no gloves on. Not that they're super sharp. They're just, they're kind of like, you know, and they have little points on the end there. My fingers are so soft. And uh, get out of here, guy. Well, that's number two that we didn't get to put in the box. I did want to talk about the bait. This is the last one I got, Michael. <laughs> you want me want me to uh, keep fishing, you better send me some more. <laughs> uh, it probably won't last another fish. They're pretty soft. He said he could make them harder for me. I know you can. I've been looking up on what it takes to make bait. And, and uh, well, if you want to do it as a hobby, it would be great but them little baits that I buy from uh, from the Academy they're $1.79 for 10 of them so you can't hardly buy the resin now if you're doing like he's doing he's, he's recycling a lot of baits and that helps but still this he, he has to sell uh, quite a few to pay for his mold and his his uh, equipment I thought I said just for the injector it would be like 250 baits that'll last me the rest of my life <laughs> i get about 10 reds per per bait of them uh, number 24s from h and h so just that alone and uh, the mold then would be another 250 to 400 baits so uh, i don't know but it would be something fun to play with i may do it just for the fun of it but uh, he said he could make me some harder ones, so we might do that too. I don't know. But all right, let's move on. I don't want to talk too long without being hooked up, but I'm just observing the my, my uh, options today. I'm limited a little more than I was in them other videos out here because the wind is really pushing through here hard, and or it will be, it will be for sure today. So, all right, let's let's move on, see what else we can find. Guys, look at them hogs looking at me. He took a step towards me like, hey, I think I'm fixing to come take a look at this. Boy, he'd be some good eating right there, guys. That's that's what you call some uh, good bacon. <laughs> Let me get out of my fishing hole. You silly hog. You silly hog mess with my fishing look at him he just standing there he just standing there i could get him so easy mm, mm, mm. i heard a little walking around i 
her little walking around. I thought thought there was a hog there or something walking in there. Well, there's a good red right there. He he didn't want to play after that spook, but they are hard to find today. They, I mean, they're here. They're just you can't see them till you ride up on them and bust them, and and then there's. You know, you can't even hardly see which direction to go. It's so dark. But it's all right. We're having fun. We didn't get eat up by no hog. I think we'll just move on after that. All right, fellas. I just seen a little action in the water there, but I couldn't see the fish. So I decided to pitch up on the bank like I always do. <laughs> All right. Maybe I didn't plan throwing it up on the bank again. I did that in a couple of videos back. Oh, well, again, it paid off. Oh, but he couldn't. He's a, he's a good keeper right here, I think. Oh, yeah. Well, come on in, fella yeah well that's good because this is in that second little pond that i never was able to get up in when i was fishing before up here in this area because the tide was too low but it's up just a little higher just a little higher today and uh, so it's making it a little harder like i always say that's why i couldn't come back i mean i fished it till the tide changed and then I left it alone, I knew, you know, it cut like a, a foot or so extra water out here and these guys go everywhere. And uh, I don't know how good he's hooked, guys. I know my arm's probably in the way. Uh, he's okay if I don't give him no slack, but that don't mean I won't give him some slack. Come here, fella. Yeah. Let's see here. What? What are we gonna do with you get over here get on this here board all right landed him okay dokie yeah that is a good fish too i'm just looking at him where he's laying right there he's uh, uh 24 inches maybe a tad over well yeah, let me ease this finger in there you know, I never did use a glove for years and years, and I, I'd go home and I'd think, and I never could figure out why it just went on that right, left side of that index finger is always a little bit of, it's a little tender, and I said, why is it? Well, then I finally figured it out. That's the finger I normally stick in there, and uh, so here I am talking about my finger. Y'all don't want to know about my finger. All right, well, when I was coming up here on this little point behind me, a bird flew and I seen a red kind of spook off of there but now I feel like he probably heard all this noise so but all right listen let's go get it. let's go get another one that was fun I mean hey why not all right see you in a bit Alright guys, whoa, do you see that fella just take off running? Was that a flounder bed? Couldn't be. That could it? Oh, this is a nice fish right here, fellas. There's one out of the water right over there too. That'd be good. Oh, don't get no slack. Don't get no slack, fella. Oh yeah. Where you at? Where you at? I'm looking at looking for that number number three over there <laughs> it's just one of them days i don't want to mess around that wind get up real high and i gotta go places i don't want to go to try to get my fish right here there's a few he's gonna he's too close he'll probably spook but yeah there's one right well they there was there was two or three running together i seen them come across and that, that little ditch got a little deeper so they fell off and went submerged. Just a good little keeper. 
well we might fool around and get three of them in this little pond yet it's not near the mount oh he's hooked through and through if you don't break it oh i don't know if we're gonna get another bait out of you another fish out of your bait or not michael now you did send me a second color look at that <laughs> a red right there and i may i may i may put one of them on it's more of a a greener uh body with that red kind of tail it sure seems like they like that that combination and i i never fish with that well i say never you know there was a big space that i got out of fishing after i quit guiding but i'm sure through the my early days i did all right he's uh 22 that's just a good little keeper all right fellas we uh i think i will pop one of them other ones on it's a good day to try it because we hadn't been here very long and uh, i think the main thing is the tail now, that tail that you know flashes is what makes the difference i like chartreuse tail and this is fastly becoming a favorite of mine too these these kind of it's not plum red it's it's a little you know hot pink well not pink either i don't know i like red look at there all right enough talk let's go on before these guys get excited or something so let's see if we can get number three all right guys i just wanted to break in here and show this is michael's other baits he sent me it's more of a kind of got a green tint with some red flake in it look like and uh i just forgot to mention it on this next fish that i catch but this is what he was caught on so okay let's let's move right into it drum are you kidding me wow that's unexpected i could count the number of drum i caught on lures probably on my two hands so probably less than 10 i don't know maybe more i've been fishing a long time but at least lately i haven't hooked on to a drum oh i get them occasionally but this is on Michael's bait. Maybe Michael's bait is a drum bait. I've had several fish nip on the tail. And, uh, oh, this rascal's big enough to take. Well, you know me. I ain't throwing good fish back. I'll put him in a box. We'll, we'll make some food out of him. All right, guys. Uh, I'm just paddling around in the middle. I seen a big bunch when I was against that bank earlier. Spook, but it was barely daylight, and I don't know. They still could be here. It is quite a bit deeper. I mean, you, you're not, I'm not seeing the backs out of the water, so I do know that that you know they can be here and just hiding. But they're not here in the numbers that they were. I knew they wouldn't. You get higher tide, they spread out. It's always been that way. So, all right, well, let me pill around to see if I can find number three. All 
<laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Uh, love it. I love it too much. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, take me over there. I was looking at this and never, never been in it. Which brings me to a point. I had a had a man comment, and I know I don't worry too much about comments. I know there's people going through all kinds of stuff and whatever, and so I'm not hating on him. I hope he don't hate on me if he sees it, but he says, well, you're fishing in the same spot you always fish in. You, It ain't no secret I live close and this and that. And I'm like, well, that's not true. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you consider the same place. Yeah, within a probably five mile or maybe even one mile, I've probably been as close as a mile to this place. But one mile across the marsh is pretty significant, especially when it's really windy and little tiny areas. You just, you know, if I say I've never been to a spot, I've never been to a spot. I've never been here. But have I been to a spot two miles over there? Yes. Yes, I have. Several times. So, anyway, I know he, he probably was having a bad day or whatever. But he said it was no big secret where you're at. Well, I never said it was a secret. I never said I. no one else knows. I mean, I put my pants on one leg at a time just like most everybody else. If I can get them, you can get them. This is not a secret. Now, I have experience because I've fished a lot, but but that doesn't mean that someone else can't learn. I've learned more about these redfish in the last four years of kayaking than I did 40 years of, of uh, fishing out of a boat so you know don't get intimidated by my 40 years of experience even being a guide and everything else it's my my experience came from the last four years if you go back to the beginning of my videos you'll see how how green I was I mean, I didn't know too much about these marshes. I didn't know anything about this real, real shallow water. I mean, you couldn't, I mean, back in the day, you couldn't work this shallow water that easy. So, anyway, but I think this little fella, this little fella is 26, almost 26 if you bend the tail. Just a good, good, good fish for number three. But at that, I think we're going to get out. But yeah, I just, I was looking at this from a little while back and I said, well, I bet this is going to be good and it's protected against the wind. But the thing is, we got one long bank this way and there's no big circle for me to go back. I got to backtrack the whole way back down. But I think I'm going to turn around right now. We got our fish. We had a good time. There's that other little lake we've been in with all the thousands of reds. They weren't there today, at least not in that numbers. They were scattered. I seen I like that island in the middle that y'all see. There was a couple bust around it. And uh, so they spread out, but there's still plenty of fish to fish for. You just gotta, gotta put your little time in, although we'll look and see what time it is. When I say put my time in, it's 8.44. So, you know, but I was here. I was here when the sun was peeking up. So, you know, that's still a few couple of hours. So, all right, fellas. I don't even think we're going to have a bonus unless something really super comes up. But I, I shouldn't say that because I still got to paddle all the way out. But I'm going to paddle straight out. And so I'm not going to be hunting for anything. But if anything comes up, you'll see it in a bonus. But otherwise, just want to say God bless. And we'll see y'all next time.